Today I'm walking you through this super clean iOS setup for my iPhone 16. I'll cover the wallpaper I'm using, the custom icon pack and widgets, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide so you can recreate this exact aesthetic for your iPhone. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. Before we begin, make sure you're updated to iOS 18. So there's two apps that you're going to need, Widgy for the widgets and the shortcuts app so you can set up your custom app icons. And all the links will be in the video's description. The wallpaper we'll be using is from my brand new blur wallpaper pack it's a collection of stunning 4k gradient wallpapers designed for both iphone and android setups and here's the breakdown so there's a light tier it's five wallpapers including the one i'm using today then there's the standard tier which is 25 wallpapers and the pro tier which is 50 gradient wallpapers the light tier is free so if you end up getting that one all i ask is that you would subscribe to my channel i'm on the road to 100k by the end of this year so i'd really appreciate it if you subscribe once downloaded you'll want to make sure you save the wallpaper to your photos app now for the icons and widgets i'm using the reflect app icons pack by loki it has a really cool glossy 3d look the pricing varies by tier just make sure you get the ones with the widget and it also does include 10 wallpapers that are gradient as well after doing this many times pro tip go through and pick which icons you want to use save them to your photos for easy access later when we get into shortcuts the widget file can stay in your files app. You don't have to worry about that. When we open it, you'll just tap on it and it'll go right into widget. If you're stuck on a zip file, just long press it and select uncompress. All right, let's get into the wallpaper part. So what you're gonna wanna do is long press your home screen and you'll tap the plus icon Select the wallpaper from your photos. It might take you a second to try and find it. I have mine just already right here. Adjust the font if you'd like or add some widgets, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to adjust the font like this. Tap add and set as wallpaper pair. You don't really have to worry about the blur effect it's a gradient, so it's kind of already blurred. Now that we have our wallpaper set up, you'll go to your home screen and you're gonna clear everything out. So you'll remove all your current apps. So long press your home screen and delete the apps. Just delete them from your home screen. Don't delete them from your iPhone. And so you'll just start doing that until your home screen is blank. Now, later on, we'll need this for Widgy, so long press again and just take a screenshot of the empty screen. And now we'll be getting into Widgy. All right, so now we're going to add our widget and the one from the pack that we're going to use, there's two. I like the medium widget. There's also a large widget you can choose from, but we're going to choose the medium calendar widget. Once you tap on it, it should open up right into Widgy. Then you'll hit the back arrow and go to the manage tab. From there, you'll select the medium widget size and assign your imported widget to that slot. Then we're going to set the transparency for our wallpaper. So remember that screenshot. Tap here and then add the wallpaper from the screenshot and confirm with the check mark. And I also wanted the widget to be in the middle of the home screen. So this slot right here. Now back on the home screen, you're going to long press, tap edit, and then add widget. Then you'll search widget. Select your medium widget and back on the home screen, it's there. Now move the widget into the middle slot that we selected so that the transparency and everything that's set up will be right. And one other thing, go ahead and select edit, then customize. And we're going to go to where it says large and tap on large to remove the word widget. This will make your app icons a little bit bigger, but I think it looks fine and it doesn't really bother me, but the word widget does. Now this next part is a little tedious because you're going to be doing this over and over again for each app icon that you wanna add. But from the shortcuts app, once you open it, you're going to at the top right, click the plus icon, and then you'll select open app. 
choose the app you want. So let's just say I'm going to choose this one here. Tap the down arrow. It's really small, so it's this arrow right here. And you'll tap on add to home screen. This is optional, but when you're in there, you can clear the name for a cleaner look. Tap on the icon circle and select your custom icon from photos. So you might have to look around a little bit. That's why I wanted you to save them from the beginning. So then I'll select this icon here, tap add, and it's now on your home screen. So it's gonna take a little bit of time if you want to fill up your entire home screen, but you'll repeat each of these steps for every app icon that you wanna to use to customize. And that's it. Again, all the links are in the video's description. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'm happy to help. Thanks for watching, God bless, and I'll see you on the next video.